everybody, welcome to episode 76, part 3 of Kenya's premier sports video podcast, the Three Quarters Podcast. As usual, remember to jump onto the hashtag Road to Japan to support the Kenya swimmers as they are still looking to qualify for the Rugby World Cup in 2019 in Japan. I'm Dimima Dofield. And I'm Nara Kamuya. So for the... Uh, for, for part three, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will have a special uh, World Cup segment, yeah. basically, for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So it'll be football, 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 you know, shoving it down your throat. And, anyway, and yes. more football. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, we've had a few matches, yeah. um, you know, match day one of three. Mm-hmm. Um, so we start off with Group A, mm-hmm. uh, Russia versus Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Uh, Russia whooping Saudi Arabia 5-0. Yeah. Um, you know little key fact yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that um, Russia are the, uh, this is the second biggest victory actually ever yeah. by a host nation um, in their opening match at the World Cup yeah. um, tournament basically yeah, yeah. Um, after Italy versus USA in 1934 yeah. where Italy won that 7-1 uh, yeah. I was waiting for somebody to say yeah I remember that game lies <laughs> 1934 lies but anyway yes yeah, so Russia whooping Saudi Arabia on March day one 5 nil. Mm-hmm. I must say that um, over the last few years or in the World Cups that I've watched. Um, this has to be the most uh, uninspiring opening game. I won't lie to you. Yeah. I think about 98 was Brazil versus Scotland. Mm-hmm. 2002 was France versus Senegal. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2006 was Germany versus Costa Rica. 2010, South Africa versus Mexico. And 2014, Brazil versus Croatia. And then 2018, they bring us Russia versus Saudi Arabia. But anyway, <laughs> look, in terms of a goal fest, yes, it was a yes, goal fest. Yes. Five nil to the host. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saudi Arabia choking up the goals as usual. I remember in 2002, Germany whooped them eight nil in their first game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, Russia uh, starting off the tournament well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we move on to the second Group A match, mm-hmm. which was Egypt versus Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Uruguay winning that one nil, mm-hmm. and Uruguay have won their opening match at a World Cup tournament up for the first time since 1970, mm-hmm. uh, where they beat Israel. Yeah. So. Uh, Jimenez coming up with a goal in the 89th minute. Um, uh, it was a game that had been dominated by Uruguay, to be honest. Edison Cavani, Luis Suarez didn't really have a good game. Mm-hmm. And of course, Egypt uh, had their talisman in Mohamed Salah, Mo Salah, uh, as an unused substitute. So uh, everyone had hoped that Uruguay would have been able just to just get a draw. I mean, yeah. sorry, Egypt to get yeah. a draw. Yeah. And then when Mo Salah is back, then go for the wins. Mm-hmm. But uh, that loss now just made it tough for Egypt to get a draw. Of group A. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we move on to Group B, yeah. uh, where it was Morocco versus Iran. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iran winning that 1-0. Mm-hmm. Um, so Morocco have never won in their opening match at a World Cup tournament. <laughs> They've drawn two and yeah. lost three. So yes. clearly they're continuing <laughs> in, you know. And the last time Morocco was actually at a World Cup was 20 years ago, oh, wow. when the World Cup was in France. Mm-hmm. Uh, that team had a use of Shippo and Mustafa Haji. So mm-hmm. Going down to Iran, own, own goal, mm-hmm. and uh, oh man, it's just making it tough for the Africans. Yeah. It's making it tough for the Africans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so the next match in uh, Pool B yeah. was the one I think everyone was talking about, yes. and that was Portugal versus Spain. Yeah. Ended in a draw 3-3, three, three, yes. where it was the Cristiano Ronaldo show. Yeah. Um, so he became the first player uh, to score eight in eight consecutive major tournaments. Yes. That includes uh, the World Cup, the European Championships, mm-hmm. and the Copa America. Yeah. Um, and also, he's only the fourth player mm-hmm. um, to score in four different World Cup tournaments. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is 2006, 2010, 2014, and 2018. Yeah, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo show, as you say. Uh, mm-hmm. Penalty, a uh, goal uh, where, oh man, David De Gea had a horrendous game. Mm-hmm. Uh, second goal, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the third one, a brilliant free kick from Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. Two goals from Spain, of course, Diego Costa and uh, Nacho coming up with the goals for Spain. But as you said, Cristiano Ronaldo now having scored in four World Cups and eight tournaments. I remember the first major tournament that Cristiano Ronaldo ever took part in was the Euro 2004. Mm-hmm. And he's been a consistent feature for Portugal ever since. So, uh, yes, it was a draw. Everyone expected Spain to win. But um, it now throws the table up, and basically the Iberian countries will have to battle it out for who gets the honors in Group B. Yep. Yeah. Um, and there's also this debate about whether you know uh, all the hype is worth it. And I'm like, look, it's very simple. Yeah. If he wasn't as good as he is, yeah. then he wouldn't be where he is. He I mean, it's it's not like well, the people who are judging are just sitting there saying, "Yep, we'll pick this one and yeah. this one." No, it actually shows on the pitch. And what I like about Ronaldo at uh, in Portugal, rather, is that while while at Real Madrid, while at Manchester United, you can make the argument that he's had a 
supporting cast or a good supporting mm-hmm. cast. He doesn't really have that at Portugal. Yeah. I mean, the last decent team that Cristiano Ronaldo ever played for in Portugal was, um, I, would, I would say, the 2006 Portugal, the 2006 World Cup Portugal team that mm-hmm. had the likes of Nuno Gomes and Helder Postiga and Luis Figo. Mm-hmm. Those, that's that's. After that, he's not had a stellar supporting cast, and he's yeah. been able to take Portugal to where he's gotten them. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, he's he, he definitely deserves the hype. Mm-hmm. He definitely deserves the hype. So yeah. uh, we move on to Group C. Yeah. Uh, we had France versus Australia. Mm-hmm. France winning that two uh, one. Yeah. And this is the fourth successive World Cup that France have started the mm-hmm. tournament unbeaten. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've won uh, two, uh, drawn two, mm-hmm. and, lost and lost none. Yeah. So uh, well done to them. Actually, they have lost. No, yeah. no, no. Like yeah. it, fourth successive. Oh, they, they oh, lost oh, before that. oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. two thousand and two. They did. Yeah, they lost to, to Senegal. To Senegal, one yeah. nil. Who's got that? But Papa Bupa Diop. I was trying to remember. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, France coming up uh, 2 1, mm-hmm. uh, beating uh, Austra- Australia. Goals from um, Antoine Griezmann, pe- penalty, and uh, Paul Pogba. Uh, France have definitely, I mean, there are some people who are making a case that, look, France have not had a really decent mm-hmm. game, didn't have a decent game. Mm-hmm. And uh, if they continue playing that way, then they'll have it tough in the yeah. later stages but yeah. I, I don't really want to take that into account it's a first game they have a win Spain lost an opening game <laughs> in 2010 and still won the World Cup so yeah. it doesn't it, it's neither here nor there yep. I think they won and that's the most important thing yeah, yeah. Uh, take it a game at a time yes right? a game at a time yes. <laughs> so uh, the other um, group C match yeah. was uh, Peru mm-hmm. uh, versus Denmark yeah. where Denmark beat Peru 1-0 yeah. and Yusuf Poulsen has now scored in each of his last appearances for Denmark mm-hmm. uh, both goals assisted by Christian Eriksen so definitely a good combo yes yes yeah it's a good combo and everyone expected that Denmark was going to beat Peru uh, yeah. um, Peru not really going to mount a challenge against a Danish team that's looking neat. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen such a team, I think, a Danish team since the days of uh, Yondal Thomasen and Ebe Sand and, and the Loudrop brothers. So it's looking good. It's looking like a good team and they definitely look like they're going to come out of Group C. But but, but. <laughs> it's, just, it's just game one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Group D, we yeah. had Argentina versus Iceland. Ed, ed, edited. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ended in a one-all uh, draw. Yeah. Now, um, Iceland actually failed to record a single shot yes. in the second half. Yeah. While um, Argentina managed to record 16. Talk yeah. about conversion rates. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where... Look, um, and it's my personal opinion. That's why I keep on saying... And, and it's Ali. But I, that's why I keep on saying that for me, Messi, he's a brilliant talent, but he's not there because um, I think the great players are able to replicate their form for club and country, yeah. not only club. Yep. And Lionel Messi always chokes when he gets to country. Uh, he had a penalty saved mm-hmm. against Iceland. Like, <laughs> okay, like fine. <laughs> Oh, look, let's not take anything away from Iceland. Iceland <laughs> had a brilliant Euro 2016, though yeah. the darlings of the tournament, they qualified for the World Cup. And any, uh-huh. team, any team that qualifies for the World Cup is a good team. Yeah. But still, Argentina, look, Kun Aguero, Marcus Rojo, uh, Lionel Messi, Sergio Romero on goal, all those guys. And I mean, Argentina are known for their football. Exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> Argentina Tricky. fans. Tricky. Ah, ah, but anyway, look, it, it, it's game one. It's yeah. game one. There's still another two games in the group. Yep. So, yeah. the last one, which I know, I think everyone was out to watch, yeah. was um, Nigeria versus Croatia, where yeah. Nigeria were beaten. Yeah. Uh, Tuna, at least they looked good while losing. But hey, <laughs> yes, Tuna. <laughs> Croatia. Yeah. Um, so Nigeria have lost each of their last seven yeah. World Cup games yeah. when conceding um, the first game. The first, goal, first goal. Yeah. yeah. Croatia versus Nigeria. Everyone thought that Nigeria are going to get something from that game. But when I looked at the team sheet for Croatia, and I see Ivan Rakitic, I see Mario Mandzukic, I see Luka Modric, who's their captain. Hey, these guys have, they have, they have a good team. And, yeah. and that result is actually a reflection of who dominated the game. Yeah. Uh, Nigeria have always had a problem with erratic performances at the World Cup right mm-hmm. from 94 and it's just continuing and, and, and you only hope that fine they might have lost against Croatia and they can be able to chalk up a good results, good results in the other games and get into the round of 16 but it's going to be tough for them now. Yep. Yeah. Well, best of luck to them going forward. Oh, yep. uh, now we move on to our bonus topic where we are talking about World Cup opening ceremony. Mm-hmm. So we're going to list our best three yeah. and why. Yeah. I won't lie. Yeah. I went from a purely entertainment perspective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And mine, uh, so I'll start with the 2002 one, uh, yeah. South Korea and Japan. Yeah. And uh, the World Cup song was by, ba- I hope I have this right, Vangelis? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now that for me was, I mean, because I 
that's music I listened to growing up. Yeah. So I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and there was this like techno electronic vibe, which you know, like. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, oh so that God. was the first one. Uh-huh. Uh, second one was 2010, mm-hmm. um, and that's uh, when we have. I had all these performances There was Shakira mm-hmm. There was Kanan There was uh, Black Eyed Peas yes. And for me I mean those are the World Cup songs Especially Kanan's That just stick Yes Like I When I think World Cup I think yeah. of that song Get older Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just one of those Really inspirational songs yeah. you, know, you weren't there But you're like oh, Man I should have been Yes Yep. Then the last one Is 2014 Yeah. And that's just because Of the vibrance The colours You know okay. The sort of Well let's not say Carnival But yes. you know yeah, yeah That feel You know that vibe That yeah. definitely gets you Amped up for the game Yeah Yeah I I, 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 okay, mine is not that. <laughs> but uh, the third one for me would be 1998 mm-hmm. because of uh, the songs again. Mm-hmm. I remember that was the one in France. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, yes. Ali, Ali. yes. Yeah, that was I 19. was a little young. I can't remember which year that was. <laughs> that was 19. Yeah. So, what are you saying about me? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that, that, that was number three for me. Uh, number two has to be 2014 Brazil because of the carnival vibe. Yeah. And uh, it's just Brazil. Brazil is all about yeah. party and, yeah. and, and, and it was a good opening ceremony. And I think also because, fine, while England is the home of football, mm-hmm. uh, Brazil is the spiritual home. Yeah. Of football, yeah. Uh, because of uh, we, I mean, we all enjoy how Brazil plays the football or used to play. Yeah, <laughs> well. And then the best for me has to be 2010 mm-hmm. uh, because of one, it was in Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, two, there was a lot of African vibe. And as you're saying, the songs, mm-hmm. Black Eyed Peas, um, um, Shakira. Yeah. Also, um, I mean, back Waka then, Waka. Want that was the yeah. song. Yeah, that Waka was, Waka. Yeah, Who that, doesn't want to watch Shakira? Who doesn't want to watch that? I mean, Kanan, <laughs> who's an African actor. Yep. I also had a very big song. And the end of, I mean, South Africa and. Uh, <laughs> yes, know, it, yes. It, it was, it was yes. good vibes. So, yeah. <laughs> that has to be the best uh, opening ceremony that I watched. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what these guys think. I'd actually want to hear what was your favorite um, <laughs> World Cup opening, opening ceremony? Yeah. Uh, remember, you can do this, or tell us rather, yeah. by following us on Instagram, liking our page on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Demi Madofil. And I'm Mara Kamuya. Uh, see you next week for episode 77. Wow. Yeah. Grandfather's Ooh. in the house. <laughs> <laughs>